Hey everyone, welcome back. Coming to you from inside the ambulance. Been hanging out in this thing as much as I possibly can right now just to get a feel for what I want to do to it. Right now it's looking like a, I think we're going to completely gut it. Pull everything out of the box, re-insulate, and start from scratch. Make it the way we want it, do it right. But today we're going to work on our first upgrade. You see all these lights here above me? They're the stock factory lights and they are these old incandescent bulbs like that if you can see it nothing special except that when they're all on they draw 22 amps it is crazy so the first upgrade we're going to try because i think the ceiling can stay in for a little bit while i'm gutting this thing and i need light is upgrade picked up 20 of these little led bulbs off of amazon for around 13 dollars i think it was for 20 of them packaging wasn't the most uh hopeful Came in a bubble wrap, just crammed in bubble wrap. But we're going to replace some of them and uh, see if it helps any. Um, we were at 22 amps. Uh, once I get them all changed out, I'll let you know um, what the amp draw is on the LEDs. Also, all of the box lights are the same type of bulb that these are, so they're all going to get replaced out. The step light and I think some of the other lights in here are also the same. So cheap, easy upgrade to see how it does. So here we go. I'm going to grab a screwdriver and pull some of these out, and I'll let you know how it goes. Simple enough, four screws and the lenses come out. I'm going to replace the bulb on the first one here that's uh, been kind of problematic, and uh, see if we get any improvement. Alrighty here. I don't know if you can tell in this video or not, but... Uh, that's the old light on the right, the new light on the left, definitely a nicer bright light. Whiter tint, we're going to get the rest changed out and uh, see what kind of difference it makes. Uh, once I get them all installed here, we will do an amp draw test and see what they all draw now. It's the next day and here is our amp draw setting parasitic. It is what the ambulance is drawing, just setting off one battery. More than I need, I'm going to have to track all that down, but these things have so many much electronics in them. It's going to take a little bit, but I'm going to go kick all the lights on and see what kind of draw we get out of all the LED bulbs. Okay, that is all nine LED bulbs running uh, on the interior lights. Now we're drawing 3.33, so roughly two amps for nine bulbs. That's a big improvement from 22. Well, now on to the next quick little fix here. Anybody's had an old Ford van knows this piece right here, if you can see it. Well, it's the prop rod bushing. They always wear down and they're pretty cheap to buy about ten dollars but why buy it when you've got a 3d printer it's going to be a lot of 3d printed stuff end up in the same building's build so this is the first 3d printed part i made so we're going to install this and see if it works well it fit fine but i snapped it put it in so back to the drawing board on that one needs a little more infill took about an hour to print that so it's no big deal and about a nickel worth of material to print another one so I'll throw that on the printer tonight and make a new one, and it looks like we're going to be good to go. I think that's it for this video. Quick and simple. Um, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to follow along. I think our next video is going to be uh, pulling out the dash and replacing all the cluster lights with LEDs also because I can't stand how dim they are. Um, the whole front of the ambulance is going to get completely revamped. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what level I'm going. I'm going to replace the seats. Um, Probably in a video here soon. Got to pull the carburetor off and rebuild it. Um, needs the ether to start right now. Um, accelerator pumps probably dried out on the carburetor. That's not a bad fix. I've rebuilt many an old Holly carburetor. Um, needs a brake booster. I do believe the power brakes aren't everything they should be. And definitely need good brakes on a big rig like this. So Probably going to get to work on that. Um, and the next step is start tearing it out. I think me and the wife are going to camp out in the driveway in this thing tonight. Uh, that's the plan for now anyway. Been trying to spend some time in it, get a feel for where we want things, how we want things to be, um, what do we want to build. I think we've uh, settled on a fixed bed rather than a lift or a fold out or anything like that because I don't want to have to fold out a bed every time we want to kick back. So we got to get some measurements, uh, start tearing out, buy a bunch of plywood and a uh, get to work on it. It's going to be a slow process. Do it as we can afford to do it, um, except we're poor people. So hit that subscribe button, give it a like, 
Leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you think, what you think we ought to do. Uh, Going to work on the exterior a little bit. Got to figure out a paint color too. I think for uh, now I've got all this black wrap. I might wrap the bottom half in black, leave the top red, and see if I can't buff it out. Done a little bit of body work, so we'll see what we can do there. So We'll see you next time. Thanks for following along. Really looking forward to this build, and we'll catch you on the next video.